Have you ever been just out and about just committing crimes? Being an absolute felon? When you stumble upon a big booty Latina that just stops you in your tracks. Well, well. Oh, well, well yourself. How you doing? Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. No, How we did could you fix get that. in here? Hey, I can't tell you that, but you know, we could catch up later. Hey there, how's it going, guys? It's Lord Char182, oh, yeah. and we're gonna go sure. over how to do the romance quest for Lady Wilhelmina because what it is, is a prerequisite to another yeah. quest later on in the game. Now, it is believed that to do Wilhelmina's quest, you do need to progress the main yeah. story until you get to the Batal region, but that is not correct. Uh, there is a way to do it sooner. All you really have to Come do is just, ball, um, after my you've encountered her for the second time, I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. And she gives you this dialogue that means that means she's ready, so you're gonna go ahead, uh, dip on out, take a rest, come on back the next day, come see and me we're gonna board. start I'll to instruct. raise her up, right? You're gonna come in here, find her, and you're gonna give her the nicest bunch of flowers ever seen in Burnworth, okay? Now these these bunch of flowers, that's what's gonna get you in, you know, cause cause Lady Wilhelmina, even though she runs a brothel, the flowers get her. All right, that's her weakness. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. So after she's done right here, just straight flexing on you, telling you how desirable she is, right? So you're going to go ahead and rest for a day, and then you're going to come on back. Okay, on your way back, you're going to see this little runt right here, this little simp, just over here working for free. He's going to let you know that, you know what, your lady, Miss Wilhelmina, she's taking care of somebody else today, you know? Somebody else had a bigger wallet. And we're not going to let this stand. So we're going to go here, look for her, confront her. I'm not going to tell you what happens because I'm not going to spoil it. But she, she asked for your help. You know what? And we're going to we're going to give it to her. We're going to help her out. But we're going to split this video up into two different sections. This first section is going to be for all my impatient bros out there. You know, all those three minute warriors, all them. I'm not into foreplay. I just want to get this out of the way. So. This is going to be no context, no nothing. This is just how you do the quest. Don't ask no questions. For everybody else, though, go ahead and use the chapters. Go ahead and just skip to the part where we do the full quest, full context, full lore, and all the possibilities. All right? So, to begin, you're going to need to go ahead and run into the house next to the barbershop. There's going to be a piece of paper there that you're going to need to pick up. That's going to be your first evidence. Go ahead, jump in the house, follow along in the video, pick up this paper. That's don't worry, don't bother reading it because you know what? We can't even read. What the fuck does it matter? Next, we're going to need the second piece of evidence. The second piece of evidence is going to be found in the rich people area. So over there with the nobles. So we're going to go over there. We're looking for Allard's house. Now, Allard, he's kind of big, a fat fuck. He's kind of wealthy, but you know, that's what the girls are into these days. Well, back in the days, that's what they were into. So. Allard got this big ass house that's right next to the brothel. You know, who would have would have guessed that he'd be the number one customer? So follow along. So you're just gonna run around this path, and then you're gonna do a big ass jump right here. Jump in the window if you can float. If not, you can go in the front door. This doesn't matter. Just as I'd like to do, I like to parkour every once in a while. Go. You know, look uh, for Allard's office, which is right here. Don't even talk to him. Screw him. Look at the painting. Pick up the evidence and then just run away. Don't fight Ellard. Don't fight his guard. Don't do nothing, all right? Follow the guide. I don't want you seeing in the comments, hey, I fucked it up. I killed Ellard. I didn't tell you to kill him, right? All you're doing is grabbing the evidence and you're fucking booking it, okay? Now, this is, uh, you gotta, you're gonna have to just cool off for a little bit while the, the heat drop, while the heat drops off. Right, so just chill out over here if if you want. If you're curious, that chest right there has a fairy stone. So, there. Once once the music is gone, you know that you're safe. So, you got your two pieces of evidence. Now we're going to go back into the brothel. We're going to go turn them in. Okay. Go here and tell... Talk to Miss Wilhelmina. I thought you well. I right, you know just skip a dialogue because you know what we we don't care. There's no context in this video. And then just give her her two pieces of evidence. Go Thank ahead, you. click yes. Or don't even read this. Don't. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nope. This is spoiler free. 
Now go ahead, make sure you hit, then you're gonna help her, because if not, you're just wasting your time. Okay, after you guys did what you guys are gonna do, the cops are gonna be on you again, so go ahead and get that cooled off after you do that. Come back, you're gonna have to rest for one day. Once your rest is over, go ahead, go back into the brothel, and you're gonna go upstairs again, and you're gonna go see Lady Wilhelmina again. Alrighty, there she is right here. Look at that blush, red cheeks, and everything. She's ready to go. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and dirty guide. I know she didn't because nobody likes it when you only last three minutes. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, now for all you other cultured people out here that want to do things the right way, right? You want to get the things you want to want to go through the romance, okay? Because it's not just about the deed you know you gotta get to it and sometimes the journey is a little bit better right so this is how you properly do this quest okay so once you accept the quest from lady wilhelmina you gotta do the first part the same right and she gives you the deadline for the three days first thing you gotta do is go rest make it in rest just in case you screw this up right then we're gonna go talk to our main band right here brent okay we're gonna tell him that these hoes out here they be crazy they be wilding they be trying to commit murder right and you know we're the risen we're not really supposed to be murdering people like that but captain brant assures us you know what what if what if uh maybe we do some investigating right so you're gonna put on your best sherlock holmes outfit and we're gonna do some snooping around right so He's going to tell you of a location where he knows that some merchants be doing some dirty deeds where you can find the evidence. So he marks it on your map. It's this house right here, right next to the barber shop. Right. Now, I was talking to this NPC right here, but she don't know shit. So obviously this, this house is a laundry, right? So, but we got the bribery report from there. Next, we're going to go speak to the would be king, right? Sven. You wish to expose Allard's misdeeds? Yes, we do. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. Okay, so we, sp we speak to Sven. You have to speak to Sven or else Patrick will not give you the time of day. Right? So after you speak with Sven... Go ahead, head over to Patrick's house. It'll be marked on your map, you know, because quests and stuff. And he's going to be just big chilling right here in the middle of his house. Just like if he's expecting you, you know, just with that big boss energy. Long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Okay, so Excellent. after Patrick spills the tea right here, presently. we're going to go ahead and ask for his help. He's going to go ahead and act as a homie. He's going to call over Allard to his house. And while he does that, we're just going to go ahead, have a look around, see what we see, you know, just like cops these days. We're going to go ahead and see if we can plant some evidence. Just some, just a little bit of an illegal search and seizure, you know? So just finish talking with Patrick. You're going to spawn outside, head on over to Allard's house. It's just up these stairs and to the left. Now, thing is right here, you are going to see Allard. Do not talk to him obviously just stay clear of him you know just pretend like you're the federal plant inspector and his petunias are not in season so you're just coming to see what the fuck All right now that he's gone go in his house we're gonna go have to find his office his office is on the second floor go up and you're gonna just gonna have a look around you see that's suspicious why is there a single painting in this house in this room i mean Go ahead, we examine it, and very conveniently, a scroll of murder drops out. 
So after this amazing police detective work that we did, finding a written confession of events, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and be a rat, and we're gonna go ahead and talk to our 50 friend, Mr. Brent. We're gonna show him what we found, right? But be careful. Remember, Brent only told us that there was some paperwork of evidence of bribery. So that's what we're gonna give Mr. Brent, right? Go ahead, do this carefully. Give him the bribery investigation findings because that's what he gave us remember we don't want to divulge too much information because at the end of the day they still be cops and they're going to use anything you do against you in a court of law i doubt she will be happy to learn of this yes this should be more than enough to disgrace him however it is not enough for me to condone his assassination of course if your intent is not to kill him but merely denounce him, then I will gladly assist you however I can. Okay, so right here, it's a trap. Make sure you put refuse his aid, all right? Well. Because he's I not down for the big M, the right? He will have none of that. But you know what? We got to do what we got to do, right? We trying to raise up the most beautiful caramel goddess we've ever seen in this whole goddamn game, right? And we got to do whatever it takes. So, after you refuse his aid, we can go ahead and go on back over to Miss Wilhelmina, and we're going to give her the evidence we found of the murder. Right? So, she's going to be just big chilling back there, looking all sexy on the, on the balcony. So, no. you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Okay, so... Go ahead, give her the murder report. You should be able to give her both if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. Just one is one is enough. The murder report is enough. Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. Okay, now th this is important right here. Make sure you continue to offer your aid, all right? You need to tell them that you're down, right? You ain't got no cold feet. You're down to do whatever it takes to land her, okay? All right. If you're offering Miss Wilhelmina demands commitment. She ain't gonna be with no no ball having flimsy dick Sigma male. She needs a goddamn man, a hardened criminal. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in. And restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. Righty, so we're gonna go in this room. We're gonna fuck Allard's uh, day up, right? He's over here all hot and bothered. Think he's he's gonna get his pee pee touched, but you know what? That's not in the cards for you today. Who are you? Don't. Who am I? Don't fucking worry who I am. I am the goddamn enforcer. We're gonna get here and get him on his knees and just fucking choke him out. Like, I'm oh, what you doing? Oh, get, get on your fucking knees. Oh, you're about to learn how what a prostate exam is. Get on your knees. Fucking get out right there, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Nobody's talking to you. Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is 
before my mother. And this is for my father. And it, and it was at this point where I truly fell in love with Lamina, right? Because she has the same fiery energy as all Latina women. The time do, right? has come that passion, for all your sins that to look come in to your light. Eye that's going to let Hello. you know that she will murder you in your sleep just because you turned around and looked at her friend Becky once. Okay? It was a party, right? I wasn't looking at Becky. Happened? There was some carne asada on the noticed. grill on the other side that I was looking at, right? I suppose a scream that Believe you me, next time I woke up, it was, just, it was just a slight, slight little slit, right? Fortunate little cut on my throat. And I asked her, hey, what the fuck is this? She's like, it's just We've a warning. I Keep a yourself in check. We can't leave the way that day forward, I haven't looked shit. You know what? I'm legally blind. I can't see nobody else. Keep my head down. But you know what? Yeah, maybe there's something wrong with me. But you know, that's, that's what gets me going. So... To each their own, you know? I like crazy Latina women. You may like Becky's. It's a, it's a, it's your preference. Alrighty, so once you get the courage to jump off of this balcony down here on the floor, you're gonna get another cutscene. I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. All right, so just like that, you know, just after committing casual murder, just you know, be well. Yeah, don't take it too personally. All right, so go ahead, uh, escape the cops. Go ahead and come back the next day. And come up here to her chambers again. Thank You'll see her right here. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough. But I want to... Okay, now right here, this is a warning. If you are in the same boat I am, Stop the video right here, right, and go back to your game. If you see this cutscene in your game, make sure there's nobody around. I don't want you catching a stray bullet just because you're, you're going to romance an internet girl, right? Luck with you, brother. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will ever be your haven, should you have need of it. Alrighty, and that's the quest. That's the best possible ending you could get. Now, this is a prerequisite for another quest later on, so make sure you do do it correctly. Okay, now we're going to go over some alternatives and some other stuff that could happen. That's kind of interesting. So, if you ask uh, Captain Brent for his help, but you still decided to murder... I cannot believe you were stooped to such. No. This is not the time. You will be able to slip out the rear entrance. Follow me, and quickly. That was certainly well handled. I suppose I ought not to have expected any less. Pray, visit me at the Myrmacolian tomorrow evening. I'll prepare ought by way of thanks. Till then. Okay, so um, you're going to go ahead and follow Captain uh, Brent over here. He's just going to escort you out of this area. You're not going to really get attacked. Just follow him and you'll be fine. Now, he does uh, give you some, some a little bit of dialogue. We shall await you here, Master. May our parting be brief. I cannot believe it. You killed Allard. You realize this could jeopardize our plans for your ascension. I will do what I can to obscure your involvement in this matter. However, bear in mind that you may have to shoulder the burden of your own heedlessness in future. And just like my father in real life, I have also disappointed Captain Brent. So, 
Now, what are the consequences? Consequences is that Miss Lady Wilhelmina is going to get locked up straight to jail. Right? This is what happens when we involve the cops. We can't be involved in that cop. So make sure you remember to reject Captain Brent's help. Okay, next thing you could do is, you know, what if what if you just tell Allard? Have you some right? business with me? Maybe you're if not into more, Wilhelmina. You, you know what? Say, maybe maybe you're not into spicy Latinas. Man. Maybe you're into bland Beckys. Hmm? What? So Wilhelmina is plotting such a thing. I noticed her sniffing about of late. Uh, now it all makes sense. You've done well to inform me of this matter. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Okay, so if you tell Eller that's going to finish the quest right here on the spot, you can still go gather the evidence if you would like and turn it in to Captain Brent, but nothing happens. So, um, because I was looking for a solution to get Allard arrested without having to have Wilhelmina kill him so she can keep her hands clean, but uh, it's not possible. I, believe me, I tried many different things. So... Um, like for example, right here, I'm going into the house. I'm going to collect the murder report anyways, because, you know, I was trying stuff, trying to see what I could figure out. Right, just follow me. Okay. So we picked up the report next. I'm going to go ahead and I was just going to go check to see what was going on with Wilhelmina. So I made my way to the brothel before getting the other piece of evidence, just because I wanted to make sure, because it was kind of weird that the quest ended. I want to see what would happen, and this guy's right here. So, if you see this guy standing at the door, you already know Wilhelmina is doing some time. She got locked up, and you know, it's gone forever. But I was impressed by the amount of speed Miss Wilhelmina has. How was she able to kill him so fast? So, I went to go look for him, and, and he's, he's still alive. This motherfucking Aller got her arrested for murder without there even being a murder. She in this this fucker's connected. So, anyways, so on another attempt, I said, you know what? What if I kill Allard? That way, Wilhelmina can, uh, you know, just just deny the fact that she had anything to do it. Because if I kill him, she didn't kill him. They can't arrest her, and we're still gonna turn in the evidence to, you know, absolve people of the murder. So I was like, I was like, you know what? That's gonna work. Okay, so that's the way. That's the way to her heart. I'm gonna go um, drop off the corpse of Mr. Allard at her feet. You know, just like a golden retriever. So, pick them up. Let's go. Bring her over here. Here, look, look how proud I am. I'm gonna just set him down right there. And like, look, look what I brought you. Look what I did for you. Why did you kill him? All I wanted was to slay him with my own two hands. You thought I ought not stain them any further, and you intend that as some kind of kindness. Hmm? Don't patronize me. No hope left, do you? Should you wish to So just like in real life, she is fucking crazy, so um don't do that. You're just gonna piss her off. And then I was like, okay, well what well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um you're not gonna get arrested, so let me just do a full romance right here. I give her the necklace from the pre-order bonus because that automatically sets your sets you to max, but she got arrested anyways. So then I was like, okay, what if I kill him after we've you know progressed a little bit further? You know, when she was gonna kill him. All I wanted was to same thing happens. My own two hands. You thought I ought not stain them any further, and you intend that as some kind of kindness. Are you all right, sir? Sir! We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. For... So, another, another fun thing to notice is that she kept her disguise on, so I was hoping she wouldn't get arrested. Right, um, because she's technically a beast right now by game mechanic standards. So, so yeah.
Okay, so same thing, you know, she escapes, she runs away. You Thank also got to do the same thing. Pull off from the cops, but I came back and straight to jail again. Okay, so more so to try. So I read online that she can get herself out of jail if you give her both of the um, reports, so to say. But I couldn't get this to work. I don't know how people were putting that on the online guides that as long as you give her both the murder report and the bribery report, she would bail herself out of jail. But that could have just been some bullshit because, you know, it's the Internet. Also, I also tried, um, you know what, just um, not helping her do the murder. Right. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and follow the advice of Mr. Captain Brandt. Um, and I'm not going to help her kill him. Right. She, I give her both things. So on this one, for sure, she's going to get arrested. And then, um, but I'm hoping that the online guides were correct and that she will bail herself out somehow. But, um, so yeah, so I go down here, going to rest up for a day. Oh, the time passed. Go back to see her and she got arrested. We knew she was going to get arrested for sure. But what we're testing now is whether or not she's going to be able to bail herself out of jail or bribe herself out of jail with the bribery report that she has. So I'm going to go over here in the bench and, you know, I'm going to rest for a couple days, you know, see, so let the game do its thing. Now, I did this at the bench that's close by, but the, the faster way to do it is just to go to an ox cart and just rest there because it goes in full day cycles instead of these quarter cycles here. So I rested up a couple days. I went back just to see if it was true that she'd get herself out of jail. And it's not true. So she's gone forever in jail. Okay, so, more stuff to try. I confess, I thought you, well, okay, so now I'm thinking that maybe, maybe Wilhelmina is just terrible at escaping. Maybe she's always getting you. caught because she doesn't know how to fucking no cheese the cops. You, okay, so this on this playthrough, same thing. I'm not going to help her murder Mr. Allard because I don't want him dead because I'm trying to absolve her. Decision. Right, so I'm not going to help her. She's going to give me an elixir, but then, you know, I decided um, I'm going to go ahead and wait a bit. Come on back. And she hasn't done her murder yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her up. And I'm going to relocate her witness protection style. Um, and see if that will absolve her of the murder. Or prevent her from doing the murder. So I chose Har Village because... I don't know. I don't know why I chose it. Just... That's the one that tickled my fancy when I was doing this. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our... Okay, now let's go ahead and head on back to Burnworth. We're going to go back to the brothel to see what happens. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discovery. And somehow to to she beat us back. So she's already here. I else to say to you. So I was like, hmm. Hmm. Now we know she's fast as fuck with that knife. So I was like, okay, well, if she's back, maybe, you know, that absolved her. Let me just um, try this. And what if I physically remove you from the game? So when the cops come get you, they cannot find you. Okay, so go back up. Go back up to her chambers. And we see little bitch boy right there at the door, meaning Lady she got arrested. Taken away by the royal. From what I overheard, they believe she has some connection. Dear me, how could no. she told me to manage the bordel? This was this was very confusing because I was like, wait, I thought she's in in the ceiling file that I have, right? The one that you get from the Sphinx. So I was like, hmm, wonder what's going on. I wonder what happened. So somebody got arrested, not her. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and release her from the bottle. I'm going to find this bottle right here. I missed it. Right there. You see how it's how it's blue? That means it's full. I'm going to go ahead and release her from the bottle. Put your hands out and be ready to catch your caramel goddess. Alrighty, there you go. We Technically, she's been arrested, but we got her right here. So at this point, I was ecstatic. You know what? I figured it out. 
this is going to be, I was already get my, making my video, you know, how to save Wilhelmina from going to prison and keep her in the brothel, right? I'm over here thinking of all the fucking views I'm going to get because all these thirsty ass people on YouTube are going to want Wilhelmina 24 7 in the brothel, just, you know, ready to smash, right? So I gave her the gift, you know, her um, cheeks are red, flushed. I'm like, okay, good. So happy about this situation. I couldn't get her to say anything else. So I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I need to go rest up a bit and then come on back. Okay, so don't mind me. This is just me falling right here because, you know, all the blood from my brain is gone. It's currently in my crotch. So I forgot to land this correctly. So you're going to go over here to the bench, wait it out for a day, you know, calm yourself. Make sure you're not too eager because nobody likes an eager McBeaver. Alrighty, now we're going to go back up and and go see Miss Lady Wilhelmina. Finally, you know, after all this hard work, after trying so many things, it's going to pay off because she's going to be right here and she's fucking gone. And I was like, what happened? Where'd she go? She was just right here. I was like, what if she was working on the other room? Let me check. Nope. Can't check the other room. And I'm like, no. My Lady Wilhelmina. Where'd you go? And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go check the prison cells. Now, just for clarification, I did check the prison cells after every single time she got arrested. And she never showed up in the prison. So, this just, you know, I didn't want to make this video fucking an hour long. But, yeah, she doesn't go to, the, she doesn't show up in the jail cells anytime that she does get arrested. This is somebody else. So, don't, 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 don't look at that. That's a different quest. I would fain aid you if you are in. Okay, so back to trying more stuff. Right here, she um, healed Allard, right? Everything is set up for her to um, have a good ending, right? So what I'm going to do instead is, what if I abduct her at this point? It's set up for her to have a good ending, but... Um, I don't want her to leave, you know? So, once you uh, finish with that dialogue, go ahead, put her in the scene file. Okay, cool. We're gonna go ahead and make our escape. Jump down here. Now, another thing to notice, right here, her outfit changed. Which, which was weird, because she was wearing her, like, escape getup, but that's her regular getup. So I was like, hmm, okay. Anyways, go ahead, cool off by the, get the fucking, your wanted level down. Then you're going to go ahead and rest for a day again, and we're going to go see her in her chambers. Now, like I said before, this is set up for us to get the good ending or the proper way. So you come in here and you get the dialogue, which is great. You know, everything's looking up. And then go through this, and you're going to get the special cutscene again. Okay, so after that... Um, you know, the game loads and whatever, and you're back outside, you know, you get the ring of benevolence, you know, everything's good. You got the good ending and I checked my ceiling file and it was empty. I was like, what the hell? This is a one-time use item. How is it empty? So I went back up, you know, just to check. And this is when I came to the realization that, you know what? Lady Wilhelmina is an entity of her own. Right. We cannot force her to love us. We cannot force her to stay. We need to set her free and hopefully she will come back to us. Well, that's it for today's video. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. I doubt anybody would. I'm pretty sure everybody's just going to watch the intro and then leave. But if you made it this far, let me know in the comment section. You know, Tell me something only we would know because you made it this far. Right. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.